Hi guys, it's Ed here from your Business Boss, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can fully optimize your Merch by Amazon listing by using good SEO practices. You can have the best designs in the world, but if your listing isn't fully optimized with good SEO, your product's not going to be found. So let's jump into it now. We're going to look at a good niche with good keywords and how we can make that listing absolutely pop. So guys, for any of you that are familiar with our previous videos, you know that we use the Helium 10 reverse search uh, method when finding our keywords for our Merch by Amazon listings. Obviously, before we do that, we actually need to find good merch that we want to sell. So I always use merchresearch.com. It's a great tool to find good Merch by Amazon ideas. Obviously, for this video, it's about search engine optimization, so we're not going to waste too much time, and I've already delved into a good idea that I think I can show you uh, that's really going to help sort of lay out exactly how we would do a listing and and a way that we've uh, found has resulted in, in making plenty of sales. So so the niche today is going to be the social worker niche. And we're just going to literally hit search. And then what this tool is going to do is going to bring up all of the social worker um, designs that are Merch by Amazon specific. As you can see, there's uh, 759 in total uh, when searching social worker. And there's a whole array here of, of different designs. Obviously, Social Worker, I'll be there for you. That's a, uh, a Friends um, sort of parody there, which I'd probably stay away from uh, just in case in case there was any issues there uh, with copyright or trademark. Uh, you've got I Love My Social Worker. It's funny one, I became a social worker for the money and the fame. But as you can see, there's some good designs here. Nothing that absolutely sort of blows your brains away, which is great because... It means that there's definitely space here and everything's selling at a good price, sort of between $14.99 to $18.99. And the main thing is there's reviews, which means these listings are selling. So straight away, there's lots of boxes being ticked here for me. And there's a lot of scope here for not only getting good designs made, but also likely to be good scope for uh, search engine optimization. So for this video, I've already selected this t-shirt here. It's selling at $18.99 and it's got 21 reviews, which is fantastic. So it would literally be a case of clicking on the t-shirt. You can even take the ASIN from the search bar up here, or you can just scroll down and you can find the ASIN in the product details page here. So it's literally as simple as copying the ASIN, we'll then go into Helium 10, and you're gonna come down here to Keyword Research and Cerebro, and you're going to uh, copy and paste the ASIN in, and you're gonna hit Get Keywords. So this tool is available for free and you get one search a day. Uh, we use the paid version, which we'll leave a link to uh, below. Uh, you'll be able to save 50% if you use our link. Uh, it is an affiliate link, but you won't be paying any more. You'll be saving money in fact, but you can do endless searches all day. There's, there's absolutely no limit. So as you can see, I've already pasted this in and I've searched, um, I've searched for the keywords by uh, hitting get keywords and it's brought back a total of 302 keywords 87 organic keywords, 113 sponsored keywords, and 141 Amazon recommended keywords. Obviously, if you're au okay fait with Merch by Amazon, you know there's no way you're going to be able to get in 294 keywords, and a lot of them will, won't be relevant anyway, so we're going to want to filter these searches down. So when using Helium 10, I always look for a Cerebro IQ score of a minimum of 100. I always click on match type and search for organic only because initially when we make a listing, we're not going to be running sponsored ads to it. We want to see if it can sell organically first and if it can, then after a while we will add sponsored ads to it. We only want to be competing against a thousand different designs and we want to see all phrases. So if we hit apply, you'll now see instantly this keyword list has been filtered down to 43 keywords that are probably going to be keywords that we're going to want to target. So instantly, as you can see here, you've got school social worker gifts, social worker clothes, social worker gifts for women, lots of really good keywords here um, that alongside a good design and fully optimized will, will leave you with an absolutely fantastic Merch by Amazon listing. What I would usually do here, I would usually export the document into an Excel document and then filter down. But again, for the sake of this video, I've already filtered down the keywords that I believe we could be using um, for our listing. So when I pull these sheets, the first thing I look to do is filter the results down to a CPR eight day giveaway of eight. So you'll see this number varies from eight to 16, all the way up into the uh, hundreds. 
Um, the higher the number on the CPR eight day giveaways, the harder it's going to be to rank for that keyword. So you might find a really good keyword that you think fits your t-shirt perfectly or your design perfectly, but if the CPR eight day giveaway is too high, it's very likely that you're probably not going to rank very highly for that keyword, which means your t-shirt's not going to get seen. So we want to be getting, we want to be going after those sort of low hanging keywords, those keywords that might be being missed slightly that, that people aren't picking up on um, and get them in our listing in a very uh, sort of attractive way, a very well written way, um, and definitely not keyword stuffing. So after I filtered it by the uh, eight day giveaways uh, for CPR, I then uh, go from uh, large to lowest in Cerebro IQ score. And the Cerebro IQ score is basically the number of competing products versus the search volume. So the higher the Cerebro IQ score, the better the keyword and the more chance there is that your, that your uh, keywords and your listings are gonna get seen. Of course, we wanna make sure the keywords are relevant. So you can sometimes see Cerebro IQ scores of up to in the 10,000s, but if it's not relevant to your listing, you don't wanna put it in because people are gonna click on your listing, but not buy. So as I said, I filtered this down to 12 results and I have already done a pre-written, fully optimized listing, in my opinion anyway, that I would be happy with, with putting up with my, with my design uh, on Merch by Amazon. So guys, here we have it. Here is my SEO listing that I would be happy to put next to a really great social workers design on Amazon. It includes the brand, the title, and the two bullet points. And you can see the highlighted green phrases and words that I've used from my Helium 10 search. And it just makes, in my opinion anyway, a really nice fluid listing. So this is for a social worker. So the brand, the shirts, the social workers clothing club, you know, just a bit fun, but you're getting in this keyword here, search for social workers. The title, social worker shirts for women and men. I then put a little hyphen here and social worker, and then Amazon will fill the end in with t-shirt. Again, we're looking at this keyword here, social worker t-shirt and social worker shirts for women. I like to add on both genders if the uh, design is sort of um, sort of gender neutral, uh, because then it sort of, again, it keeps that market nice and open. If a man comes and looks at this design and likes it, but sees that it's a social worker shirt for women, they might not buy it. So if you can get in those extra little bits, that always helps in my opinion. The first bullet, are you looking for awesome social worker shirts for women and men to celebrate social worker month? This social worker uh, apparel is a great choice when looking for social worker month gifts. Bullet point two, this social work tea is a great choice when looking for cool social worker clothes, would also make a great gift for a retired social worker. These cool social worker shirts for women and men are sure to turn heads. So as you can see, everything in my opinion about that listing is nice and fluid. There's no keyword stuffing and the sentences flow. But also what this is doing, this listing is now ranking in Amazon. So if you put this listing next to an absolutely fantastic design, you are gonna get seen and people are gonna start purchasing. Once, once people start to purchase and you're ranking for keywords, hopefully you'll start to make more sales and then Amazon are gonna twig and say, people like this design and this, this listing is ranking well for keywords as well. You can then look to start to turn things on like sponsored ads, which is gonna get your t-shirt seen um, by even more people or, or your merch seen by even more people. So it's paramount that not only are you making great designs, but you're also doing fantastic SEO. So yeah, I hope that helps. And I hope it's quite a clear indication that by doing proper keyword research, as we have done here on the left and finding uh, the keyword phrases that people are actually searching for, and then putting them into a coherent listing, you are guaranteed to give your listing a much better chance than just by having a good design and a poorly optimized listing. So there we have it guys. I hope that has been uh, of some use to you um, and showing you how you can uh, fully optimize your Merch by Amazon listing. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you. And if you've liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button um, and see you soon. Cheers guys.